Item number SCP-4923 Object Class Kedder Orthomew, depending on its perspective. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4923 is to be maintained in a self-referential conceptual means loop of its own design. I'll bastard you couldn't hold it. Get some blood, friends, get some blood. The Foundation's collection of SCP-4923 are kept in several houses and buckets, which are available on request or for taxation purposes. Morally, SCP-4923 is to be kept in the hearts and minds of Cerevistic's personnel at all times. As such, the apprehensibility of personnel who interact with SCP-4923 is paramount. The self-referential nature of its self-referential nature, being self-referential, should be denatured as frequently as possible. Being alabaster, it is of course difficult to isolate its proteins. Though our surrealists have found a way, personnel investigating SCP-4923 must undergo daily radiological examinations of their skull. Should an additional instance of SCP-4923 be discovered therein, it should be immediately excised from the noggin and added to the bucket. Forgive us this levity, lad or ladded. You'll understand it later, probably if you're paying attention. If it's too late though, you'll think we're that frickin' insane. Description SCP-4923 is a frankly fantastic collection of approximately 120 billion Kaboria and Assassia of human make. Individual instances of SCP-4923 are semantically variant and contradictory, making direct and or if form of referential style is totally useless. Indeed, attempts to direct they describe SCP-4923 in a proper fashion, or one that matches sensibly too well, messes with the nuance and screws you up a tad. This is why most of this documentation is contradictory. Though we speaketh madness, that there be a method in it. Let's put it like this. Without the italics inside your skull, there's a tiny little blob called the Apicis Cerebri, and over time it slowly turns to stone. This is a process which kills you, or a part of you. It's a curse we got from a long time ago, when we pissed off one of the more evil gods, probably. There might be some books around it, but they make less sense than this. And if you can even remotely understand them, then you won't be able to make words anymore to tell the rest of us. 4923 acts as a semantic anchor of sorts, and it grounds you in the plane as you get older. Ground it in the plane, get it? However, this makes certain areas of these just functionally impossible. To dance with ideas, you're not allowed to wear shoes. Some drugs can fight the things. If you're into that, they're called agnotics. Amnestics, but you forget. Nestics make you remember. Agnotics make you doubt. Similarly, Gnostics make you sun, but not necessarily correct. Let me try again. Invitement of Agnostics, Assault and Semantic Disassociation. Agnotics make you investigate things that are wrong. More particularly, they facilitate the employment of alternative logical paradigms, usually ones which externally seem nonsensical because they are. Well, warriors of untruth. The nice thing about living in untruth, however, is that you've a stronger power over the edges of Gnostic truth for realities. If we make just the right things wrong, then likeness and logical truth takes up the vacuum left in the space and moves reality to occupy the space. It's go so mistakes and frick. Everyone seems to hate us for it. We resist the anchors. Hell, to even really talk about the anchors, we need to talk like this, which a few people hate. But back to the mind stones. 
They're toxic things, awful rock cancers. They just grow and grow until you firmly mired in this particular perceptual state. If you're looking into it, you'll want a few more canals grafted into you. Of course, if you wanted to be a scientist and not a surrealist, and look at truth instead, we can put a few more 4923 into your skull. If you're not using a premier, well, take it you're closer to the ground, and we get even higher. As brevity is the soul of wit, I tell you, we are mad.